former South Carolina governor who himself was ousted from Congress in a primary challenge last year, says he's edging closer to taking on the president, driven mostly by concern about the growing debt as well as the president's character. And Mark Sanford joins me now. Governor, welcome back to Meet the Press. Pleasure. Um, why should we take this idea seriously from you? Because, A, the conversation you were just having on the economy, I think, very much ties into this. B, I think we've lost our roots as Republicans, and there needs to be a conversation about what it means to be a Republican. And a lot of folks that you talk to in the polls, the same people that say 86% approve, mm -hmm. you look at the numbers, and for instance, the latest poll in New Hampshire, roughly half of those folks said he needs to be challenged because we need to have that conversation within the Republican Party. What is that conversation? His character and the debt? What is it? What yeah, is well, the it's more than just the debt. It's, you know, uh, going back to what's happening in the economy at large in this country and the world. You know, w what do we believe in terms of trade? And, and there's been a radical departure from what Republicans have traditionally believed on that front. What do we believe on the growth of government, spending and deficits? Radical departure on that front. And, and the topsy-turvy that I think has frozen up, you know, a fair bit of business investment these days as to what day are we going to get, this day or that day in the White House? And, you know, business, to make investment, needs stability. It, you probably aren't the best vehicle for this. But you're doing it. Uh, is there a better candidate out there? I'm sure there is. I'm sure there are a bunch of them. But, you know, th this conversation began the day after my primary loss last June. Right. Uh, uh, a friend called and said, God just cleared your calendar for a reason. I know what it is. You need to primary the president. I'm like, are you completely That was out literally of your the mind? first that that was was the first, first response after losing <laughs> because of Trump. Yeah. Trump yeah, yeah, basically yeah. cost you your right. reelection. But I said, you know, you're, uh, that's preposterous. That's crazy. But long story short, there's been a drumbeat over the last year of people who I admire, who yeah. are not crazy, who are very thoughtful, saying we need to have this conversation. All right. I bring you up. Here's what some of your former um, staffers and allies have said. Uh, um, Matt Moore, the former uh, South Carolina uh, Party chairman, he said it's, it's almost impossible to primary sitting precedent successfully. Your former spokesperson said it just doesn't seem to be the most serious minded way to get back into the conversation. Um, but he calls it definitely the splashiest. Is this a vanity project? Absolutely not. I mean, the idea of going out and possibly being a human pinata uh, is hardly a vanity because project. Because you are. You right, know how right, the pre right, president's right, going right, right. to go after every one of your personal right, right, foibles. Right. You know that. And, and so I'd say no, but it is a project on behalf of my four sons because the route that we're going right now not only has implications in terms of the Republican Party going forward, but real implications in terms of every young person's ability to sustain the American dream. If you look at the debt and deficit numbers right now, we are in troubling waters that have not only implications in terms of the economy here and now and what's going to happen next, but frankly, their ability to build wealth over time. Why do you stay in the Republican Party? Because I'm a Republican. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I, a lot of people said, well, if you're going to run, run as independent. And I'm like, no, I'm a Republican. The Republican Party has a great lineage of historically doing some great things right, but it's gone off the tracks of late. We have a cult of personality right now that is at odds with the people who've worked for years and years in the vineyard trying to make a difference in advancing the conservative cause. Um, it's unlikely you would succeed in actually winning the nomination. I mean, the process is already being, you, some people would call it rigged, but yeah. he's in charge of the party. So sure. they're, they're, they're scrapping caucus. There might not even be a primary allowed in your state. Could, uh, yeah, right? You see so, what happened in Nevada, with South right. Carolina. Yeah, You're not going to be allowed to even compete for delegates. So what does success look like for your candidacy? Uh, you can compete for ideas, though. I mean, if we begin a national conversation on where in the world are we going with unprecedented levels of debt, unprecedented levels of deficit going forward, unprecedented levels of spending, where are we going as a Republican Party in terms of, of what comes next? If we were to have a conversation on trade and what it means, and, you know, whether it's in the port in Charleston or whether it's in New Hampshire or a whole host of other places across this country, I think it's a needed debate. And, and I think you know, the more the merrier. I'm glad Bill Wells in. Another dozen. I'm sure there are much better candidates out there than I am. But we've got to have this conversation as a nation and as Republicans. It sounds like you believe the president hasn't earned re-election yet. No. Does he deserve re-election? Uh, I would say no, because I would argue that he's taking us in the wrong direction. Uh, just take one indicator. If you look at the business investment numbers over the last couple of months, they've been cratering. That's reality. Mm -hmm. And in part, the reason they're creating is nobody knows what's going to come next in terms of trade, and nobody knows what's going to come next out of the White House in terms of policy. That is not the kind of environment wherein businesses invest. And so I think that there are any number of different things where you'd say, no, we need a course correction, and we need to have a conversation about that course correction. If you're unsuccessful, are you going to still support him for president? Yeah, I'm a Republican. 
So you realize those two things. You just said you're, you don't think he deserves re-election. He's taking us in the wrong direction. Uh, but you're still going to be able to vote for him over uh, Joe Biden? Yeah, everything is relative in politics. Uh, and so, you know, with all due respect to Warren, mm -hmm. the policies that she laid out will exacerbate the problem on spending and the debt and the deficit. You feel the same way about, about a Joe Biden, though, who may be t taking I've a more, a more seen, moderate approach? I, I've not seen him not embrace a lot of what she's talking about. The progressive mm -hmm. wing of the Democratic Party is leading the charge right now. You can see it in the polls of late. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not seeing a great differentiation there, but I may be missing it. What is um, what would keep you from doing this? Because you haven't you're, you're not saying I'm definitely doing this. Um, Labor Day's around the corner. What's what would stop you? My four sons. OK, if they're decidedly against it, I won't. And at this point, they're mixed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some of them are for it. Some of them are against it because it is daunting. And it goes back to what we just mentioned a moment ago, bringing and dredging up a lot of things they don't want to yeah. deal with and I don't want to deal with. Is uh, if this doesn't work out, are you done with elective office? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Time to go out and go back to the business world I used to be a part of. All right. Mark Sanford, former. Uh, when, when are we going to find this out, this answer out? This week? I think, no, by Labor Day. I mean, it's creeping up fast. A couple uh, more weeks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pleasure. Mark Sanford, good to see you. As well. And if you get out there, stay safe on the trail. Yes, sir. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.